Okay, today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're working on this old log barn built in the early to mid 1800s and uh, it's leaning and it's got some termite and rot damage. So uh, you can see here, this is the worst corner and you can see this log used to be much bigger than what it is now and it is just rotted away because uh, it's right on the ground and um, everything above it is pretty solid. And you can hear how that is a real hollow sounding thud. And uh, that means the termites have done hollowed him out. And you hear this one. And they sound solid. So we're going to take, and I've already started digging this out. And we are going to pour a new footer under here. And we're going to jack this barn up. It's dropped probably 8 inches. We're going to jack it up. We're going to replace that bottom log with a treated six by six on three new piers and uh, that'll protect it get it up off the ground again and uh, it's not going to be back to a like original state but it'll make it last a lot longer and uh, it's not really functional for animals it's just mainly to preserve it so we're going to get this done here you can also see there's a shed built on the side and it is leaning probably six inches out and uh, mainly because the barn dropped and let it come loose and you can see daylight shining right here and uh, I've got some ratchet straps and ropes tied to this shed to keep it from moving and falling off and also some braces outside we've got to work as safe as we can you can see right here there's a little shed that's cantilevered off the barn and it's had some damage and uh, when this is dropped you can see this log isn't even touching no more. So we're going to fix that and uh, jack up all the corners of it and get this thing shored back up. I don't know if you can see this. This log was slammed full of these carpenter ants. And I found termites too. Thousands of these rascals are crawling around. I've got a jack, <clears throat> excuse me, a, jack, a railroad jack under this bottom good log and I have I took the pressure off of this rotten one and I've took a chainsaw and I've cut it into two pieces. This will be where my next pier goes. So I've got to do some digging there. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and uh, put me a temporary braces under all this corner so I can pour concrete and uh, be letting it dry so I can block it up tomorrow. Okay, I got this piece out. I've got uh, this big, uh, I think this is a six inch C channel. I've got block on both sides in and out. Got it raised up here, got a jack in the middle of it. And I've uh, cut this other rotten log out in the back. I've got a jack under it. And now this corner is all open and I've got it dug down to some solid ground. We're gonna pour a concrete pad right here now. And then uh, when it dries, we'll be able to build back up and uh, lift these back where they go. Okay, we got the log all out and we have our piers poured. I've got concrete here with wire in it. And now on this end, done the same thing. And I found out there was actually another log on the bottom that had already rotted out that I didn't even know was here until I got on this corner and it was a little higher and just a small piece of it remained. So that makes this barn probably have dropped closer to a foot than it has, I thought about eight inches. So um, once this concrete's dry tomorrow, we'll put some a block in here and then we're gonna put a uh, six by six and uh, we're gonna not put one on the main bottom. We're just gonna leave it off the ground and then we'll replace the six by six where this log was going across. Okay, now we're going to find our angle for this log so we can notch out our 6x6. Six six. And to do that, we're going to use this little adjustable angle gauge. And you just set him up in here. 
and then when you get him where you want it, you tighten that little wing nut up. And then that's the angle I cut onto that 6x6 that'll sit right here. We're going to cut it, put it in place, and then I'm going to put the jack under this new 6x6 and raise this on up a little more. Okay, now we're going to transcribe our angle onto this 6x6. And uh, this is going to be our main beam under there. And then we're going to put whatever blocking we need under it to lift it up level. So we're just going to take this angle gauge, put the flat part level with this back of this 6x6. And there's the angle I need. Then uh, I want it to be about 8 inches back. Or maybe a foot I have to measure. Then I'm just going to measure from the bottom up to there. It's three inches. I'll come over here on the side. Measure up three inches. Then I'll square that over. And square it across the top. And then uh, I will cut this and follow that line. From the back here to this line with my chainsaw. All right, we got the beam in all the way. And I got it joined here in the middle. And I just lapped a foot. Then I'll adjust this pier leveled up here. And then I have this corner in. And I'm going to raise this corner a little more. It needs to go up a few inches. And then um, this far corner needs to go up a few more inches. I've raised this corner, I think. Let's see, probably six, maybe eight inches already. And it still needs to go a little more because this shed roof up here is separated from it. And you could tell it had dropped big time. So we're going to try to get it up close as we can. That way we can hook it back on. Okay, we've got this side shored up. And um, I'm going to raise it a little more when I get this shed um, braced up. But you see, this shed was leaning about six or eight inches. I've got straps on all the poles up top, up in the main top of it. I've put six by sixes on the bottom for like a skid. And I've also put my railroad jack here. And I've dug a hole in the ground, put the foot of it in. And uh, I've scooted, been scooting it over, and I've scooted it already about four inches. I have a new post on each side, new 6x6, nailed at the top, got it level, got the bottom notched and this log notch so it'll set into it, and uh, I'm pulling it over, and then the post might have to back up just a hair, I think I bumped it a little, and then to pull the bottom, I have the top braced behind every post with a 2x6 and 2x4s and a couple logs. And then to pull the bottom over, I'm using the jack inside, and I'm using a chain bind out here hooked to a tree. And I'm uh, tightening it up, and then I'll crank the jack a little. And I've cut the bottom of the boards off enough where it can scoot without digging into the ground. And uh, that took me a while, it was all oak. But uh, I've got a, this middle section here, I can still see a pretty good bow. So I've got to move my jack down and uh, scoot it over as well. But it's going to level up pretty good. Here's one of the poplar poles that I took out. And uh, they were pretty solid. There was a few bugs starting to work in the, the bottom of them. I see some bug holes all in here, but I've put in a new treated 6x6, six six, notched the top out for this little log, and this one sits on it. Then uh, this big oak log, there was a rock sitting here, but it was sinking, and it was shifting in. So I took and uh, 
cut a notch in this six by six and notched this oak log out and uh, where this was about a 10 inch log I took and just shaved it down in and then made like a five inch ten in here and put some big rough uh, rigid pole barn nails through it so that'll hold it in place and it's concreted in the ground okay we've made it to the next corner and uh, I had two logs that was rotten the main bottom one it was sunk plumb into the ground and then the next log up so uh, the bottom one we're going to use to treat it like we did on the back and then the next one we've got a poplar log we're going to hew out and uh, to make it look more natural than the pressure treated so we're going to hew this out and it's about seven feet long then we'll notch it Okay, I've got the weight on it now and it fit in there pretty good that ought to last as long as the rest of it and I put this door jam back on I got to put the outside face on so I can hang the door and I just went ahead and uh, we're behind where my board is going to be going I put a little block right there just so I'd have something extra to mount this door to the old log had a notch in it and the door jam went down into it and was nailed but uh i couldn't do that the way i done it so this will work whenever this gets a few years on it it'll match it pretty good and i didn't have my broad axe that's why i had to hew it all with the pole axe or i could have made it a little slicker okay we're going to fix this little doorway now and uh, up here, I'll try to climb up here and show you, there's a little forged piece of metal where this door went in. You can see right here, this eye. And it was broke. And it was just letting the door sag and they had a little chain tied to it. Then uh, down here, there's a peg, there's a hole where the bottom of like a peg goes in. And that would let it pivot. So we're gonna take a, another piece of wood and uh, make a new piece for this door. I got the door on the ground here and this is just old split shakes that they've made or took off another building or the roof and uh i've got it marked out here where i'm going to cut this this is a tobacco stick i'm going to cut this off and notch this out just enough to set this in like they had it and then i'll shave this end around a little bit make it go in there and that should get the door back into function
okay I thought I'd show you this little trick if uh, you're out working on something like this and you need to use a draw knife and you ain't got a shaving horse to hold something or a vice um, which my straps are broke on my tailgate but if you lay it on the bumper here if it ain't too thick and you weight of your tailgate will hold that really good and you can take your draw knife and work it down and uh, you got your on-the-go vice with you and uh, it's worked really good I mean that's pretty solid so holds it perfect while I'm shaving on it Okay, we're going to see if this fits now. Fits up top. And uh, that'll work just fine. Just a little loose. But uh, the one that was in there looked like it wasn't no tighter than that one. But that should let our door open. So we're going to mount this to the door now. Okay, I got the door hung. And I ended up trimming the boards up a little bit. And leveling a few of them out. That way it opens nice, and I put a center brace in it to keep it from sagging. So, that ought to do it. A lot better than hanging from a chain. <laughs> 